recording going here. Okay. So that I can make sure I've got this. And then I want to try to get me out of the way here. All I right. Think I know how to do that too. And I'm going to close this off. How was your weekend? My weekend was great. Beautiful Good. weather this weekend, a little cooler than I like, but I've adjusted. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. It was beautiful. Yeah. Great. So I thoroughly enjoyed looking at all of your photos on Facebook and all of your different outfits and looks and <laughs> amazing. But start from, the beginning, <laughs> excuse me, start from the beginning and tell me about what you do. And you work at Kaskaskia College, right? Tell me about what you do and a little about yourself. Okay. I am actually the uh, director of the culinary program at Kaskaskia College. Okay. Uh, and so I, I, I basically teach all of the culinary courses. Uh, so training the next generation of chefs. Awesome. And uh, how long have you been doing that? And do you love your work? And, and how long have you been at Kaskaskia? I love my work. I absolutely love it. I've been at Kaskaskia now for eight years. Uh, so I, I, I think I'm there to stay. I love it. Oh, that's so awesome. So one of your students, I believe it was, tipped me off and said, <laughs> every day you're coming in and just lightening the mood and keeping everyone relaxed with all of your different costumes. But you tell me how you got this idea and what exactly you're doing. What, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I got the idea. Uh, I basically teach a lot of non-traditional students and making the move to an online format was not something that came easy to those students. Uh, millennials found it very easy to make that transition, uh, but non-traditional students, it was, a, it was a difficult transition for them. Uh, so as an added incentive, I decided since I was teaching international cuisine this semester, uh, that I would actually virtually travel to some international destinations uh, on my daily Zoom lectures that I did with my students. And so that's where the idea came from. Now, it just so happened that Halloween happens to be one of my favorite holidays. And so I had a stash of costumes that were at my disposal. Uh, so it made this a very easy thing to do. Oh, that's so fantastic. You know what, I'm gonna close, I can hear my parakeets. Hold on, I'm gonna close this door. Okay, sorry for the interruption, but at oh, least it's okay. Halloween. So you love Halloween. I have to say, your costumes are so detailed and fantastic. So you have this like at your house? Is that? Yeah. <laughs> That's, amazing. That's fantastic. So yeah. what gave you the idea to do this? So many people uh, and so many of my personal friends are actually struggling during this time. Uh, and, and, you know, we're, we're, deal we're facing unemployment. Uh, a lot of people are just bombarded with, uh, you know, the negative of this coronavirus situation. And so anything that I could do to help uh, my students first smile, uh, I was willing to do. Uh, and so these costumes, I shared one of the photographs on my personal Facebook page. And I got so many messages saying, oh, my God, you made me laugh. Uh, and so I, I said, well, hey, I guess I'll share all of them. And so I started every day. And this has been going now for about 24 days. Uh, and so every day I have been traveling, first of all, to a different room in my house. Uh, and so each day I was broadcasting uh, from a different uh, home location. Uh, but that, that's really how the idea came about. That's fantastic. So are you dressing up every day or you're just posting a photo from the past or are you literally getting all dressed up every day? I am literally getting all dressed up every day. Uh, and so, you know, I've started to kind of write some little short sto stories to go along with uh, these costumes because number one, I was running out of rooms in my house uh, to visit. Uh, and I've also kind of run out of international destination costumes. So now some pretty uh, familiar, famous faces are starting to uh, show up every day. 
I noticed the Pope. That was one of my favorites. I love that. <laughs> Well, I grew up as a, as a Catholic uh, in Mississippi, so the Pope was, you know, I had to do it. <laughs> that was just a natural for you. It was just a natural. And, yeah. and you know, with it, I think I actually posted that one on Easter, so it, w it was most appropriate. <laughs> perfect timing, perfect timing. Um, how long does it take you to get ready? Oh my goodness. Well, it depends on how intricate uh, the costume is. Uh, but I would say anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, some of the costumes come along with a little makeup. Uh, I've had to do a little face painting and so on and so <laughs> forth. Uh, so those are a little bit more time consuming. Um, but it's well worth it. When I get personal messages from people saying how much that mess, that my pictures or have uplifted them, uh, it makes that 30 minutes of, of dress up time well worth it. That's so cool. So you're dressing up every day for how many students are in your um, international uh, food class? Uh, there are approximately 20 students that are enrolled in that class. Okay, and so you're dressing up for 20 students, but then you're posting to Facebook. And what, yes. kind, of, what kind of social media reactions are you getting? Oh my goodness, uh, I have been getting so many messages uh, from people that I don't even know. Uh, you know, just saying how much the pictures have brightened their day. Uh, and I think uh, the overwhelming uh, question that I'm getting is, where are you getting all of these costumes from? Uh, and so you were asking about how long it takes me to get dressed. I forgot to mention that since this coronavirus uh, shelter in place situation has been here. Uh, I think I've packed on a few extra pounds, so some of my costumes don't really fit as well as they used to. <laughs> oh, that's that's a little interesting side effect of all this, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, we're, we're sitting at home and we're not moving as much, so. Right, yeah. and it doesn't help that I'm a chef, and so I've been creating some pretty amazing things. Uh, uh, that I probably wouldn't eat normally because I'm bored. <laughs> That's so great. So what, you, like you dressed up in the Scottish Highlands outfit, do you then tie your your uh, class for the day into that costume or how does that work? Yeah, actually, uh, what I'm generally doing is either a cooking demonstration or going through vocabulary words uh, from the various regions of the world. Uh, and so I film those and, and sit on the Zoom lectures with my students in costume. And the first five minutes is spent, you know, of course, of course, uh, gawking at my costume. But after that, we really get into uh, the meat of what we're trying to do. Uh, and so I have had 100% participation from all of those students because I don't know if it's them that so much wants to see the costumes or their families. Uh, but either way, that has enticed their children sometimes to help them get logged on. Uh, and so it has really made attendance, uh, you know, uh, it really has impacted attendance. And I'm so happy uh, that the idea was planted. I don't know where it came from, but I'm certainly thankful for it. So, yes, but it is your, I mean, you came up with it, right? You just thought... No, it, and I think it just happened by happenstance. I'm like, hey, yeah, I forgot. I got this costume in here that ties right into this lecture. Let me go put it on. And, and there it was. So 24 days later, how long are you going to be able to keep this going? <laughs> I think I've That's got a long about, time. I know. Uh, look, I was, I'm trying to make a, a perfect 30. So hopefully I've got about six more days in me. <laughs> Well, that's, you're going to, and I bet it gets harder because you've been through so many great ones, right? It, it absolutely gets harder. Uh, but I, I try, after I actually decided that I was going to commit to this, I kind of saved some really spectacular ones for the end. So I do have some, some that are still, uh, you know, worth a look. Awesome. Well, we're going to be watching and, and seeing what you're doing. Um, did you ever think this would become as big as it is? You know, I, that really was never a thought for me. Uh, actually, at the core of what I was doing was actually, uh, you know, trying to engage my students. Uh, and everything that happened 
beyond that uh, was just icing on the cake. Yeah, exactly. Anything that I haven't asked that you would like to add? Um, what's, I, I know what, what's your favorite? What's been your favorite look so far? Ah, uh, let's see. My favorite look so far, I guess I would say would be the Pope because I think it was the one that really, uh, you know, caught people by surprise. <laughs> and was so authentic. That was the good yeah. one. <laughs> well, I grew up in Hawaii, so I loved, I loved the Pope too, but I loved that Hawaiian outfit was, that was so authentic. Uh, oh my goodness, I loved that one as well. Uh, although I have to admit, I think I caught my grass on fire trying to light my little torch. <laughs> yeah, uh, but that one was was hilarious for me, uh, and that one really took a lot of nerve for me to share because I'm like, oh, I think my belly's kind of bulging out here in this. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Well, yeah. I just I can't thank you enough for talking with me, and and I did ask you, is there something that you want to add that I haven't asked? Well, you know, I just would like to, you know, encourage people to still smile, uh, to still try to find that silver lining in the cloud uh, and that, you know, we will get through this, uh, but we have to laugh our way through it, uh, laugh through the pain, smile through the pain. And if these photographs and stories that I'm sharing are helping just one person, then mission accomplished. Awesome. I, I just can't thank you enough for talking with me, Robert. You're, you have such a great outlook and it's that positive perspective we all need to catch on to right now. So thank you for spreading that part of it. And Absolutely. all I can say is you are awesome. You're just amazing <laughs> with your looks. I can't wait to share this with our viewers. So well, thank you so much. It has well, my, been my pleasure to talk to you. Awesome. Well, I'm going to, probably air it tonight at four. Okay. It'll be at the end of the newscast. And okay. if something changes that, I will email you and let you know when it'll be rescheduled. But okay. otherwise, set the DVR. I will. Email your students, spread the word. And okay. then, uh, and, and I'll just be so excited to share all this with our viewers at, at Channel 5. Well, thank you so much. All right, you take care, Robert. Keep in touch. I'm going to be watching for those next uh, costumes. All right. Well, look, I have one that I know you're going to love. <laughs> okay, good. I'm going to be watching. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You do the same. Take care. Bye-bye.